nobody like I don't know nobody. I guess I don't. Oh, you mad, huh? Oh, you mad. What is going on, guys? It's your boy Tucker, and I just want to give you an update of my um, Fast Royale account. So, as you can see here. Um, I am at 1630 in Arena 5, which is 70 trophies away from Arena 6. Um, uh, I got 188 wins, 64 3 crowns, and 450 donations, so, and level 7, as you can see up there. So, I was really pushing to get to 1630. Um, because that's like what the base is at the lowest trophy level for a lot of the top clans in the US like their lowest the minimum trophy level to get in so right now I am in the 63rd ranked um, clan in the US and my brother is right there in American Alpha which is 52nd I might try to get up there later but yeah I'll show you a replay this was this was a, actually a really good match um, when did this happen like I don't really remember really exactly what happened so I'll go times two through it but yeah it was a very good match of course I made some mistakes and of course I made some good plays because I did end up 3 crowning him, which is really good. I always want to say 3 star, but that's Clash of Clans. It's because I've played that damn game for so long. That's one of my best moves right there. Hit him with the... Um... The minions, like after it cleans up something and then frees the crown tower on whatever they throw down. The minions all together, the minion horde, can really put down, um, put a hurting on some stuff. And if someone throws in, like, some barbs or, like, a, something like that, um, it's really easy to just fireball and get collateral damage on it. So I got a pretty easy crown there, so I was pretty happy with a minute left. I thought I could definitely clean this up without me losing one, but he puts on a really good push right here, I think. Yeah, a really good push right here with the giant skeleton. I put my Tesla too far back so the giant skeleton was not actually um, distracted by it. So the bomb it drops when it gets uh, killed, I guess, um, deals a ton of damage on your towers. So you definitely have to protect your towers. See, look how much I had. It did almost like 900 damage, so that's absolutely incredible. So, I'll show you my deck after this and kind of explain like the use of everything. So, right now, yeah, overtime's almost over. Yeah, it's 15 seconds of overtime. And he forgets about that stuff and the fireball to win. With like 5 seconds left in overtime, 3 crown with a fireball pretty easy um with my deck i use this basically just to distract and um like a lot of people use huts and stuff and this distracts that stuff from just taking easy shots on my crown towers these are really good against ground troops like giants and barbs these are good against um <coughs> Like giant skeletons and stuff. Also good to distract. These are really good. They're only two elixir. And can distract stuff really easily. Take out easy stuff like the minions that the um, witch throws down and stuff. That's a good attack troop. This can take out a big group of stuff. And can really devastate a push. Um, these two together are a deadly duo. Um, if the pog's sitting on something and the crown tower's frozen it can really end up well for the attacker so yeah guys that's pretty much been it just updating you on um clash royale and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this has been your boy tucker and peace